Hello, hello, hello. This is Fancy at the Playola channel. I am bringing you some more golf today. So recently I had played Kid here and I had defeated the great and wonderful Mario finally. So that's pretty refreshing to finally beat him. So I'm going to be moving on to another task and uh, I'll just be playing Ginger Charlie. And I'm going to be playing the harder character of the two. Mario shoots a 270 while Bowser shoots a 280. So a whole 10 yards higher and I'm going to be playing uh, Bowser and I'm going to be giving him this really goofy outfit here. I'm going to go in the Shy Guy Desert as well. So we're going to be trying out a couple new things today and uh, see where we end up. I've been uh, playing a lot of Smash 4 lately. Not too much 64, so I'm a little off my game possibly, but uh, last time I played was maybe a day or two ago, so I don't think, man, Bowser looks really crazy in this uh, skin, this color scheme. But uh, yeah, what I'm saying is I've been playing that a lot, so my game might be a little bit off, but I, I think I'll be alright. As yeah. usual. That should be perfect. Yep, that's a good shot. I'm probably around 10 feet away from the hole. Nice on. Yep, 11.69. And now it's Bowser's turn. And his spikes on his back like a neon green. It's kind of strange. This is an outfit they actually uh, they had used for Smash 4. That's uh, really nice unique and different. This putt's incredibly easy. Uh, it looked like he was gonna botch it for a second there. He's got uh, Bowser's got some of the coolest, I would say, celebrations. Uh, come on, what the hell? Uh, I don't know why I just did that. That was really weird. Okay, so I uh, goofed. I don't even know why. I'm not even gonna blame it on talking because that was just dumb. So, but yeah, this is a cool outfit. Very, very cool uh, look for him. Different. But in uh, in Smash 4, what I was saying is it's the uh, pink outfit. The one with a uh, kind of like highlighter pink instead of like the dark pink we're getting here, like the bloody pink we're getting here. Should be fine without the dot. But uh, I was hoping to get a little more oomph on that shot. No, that's good. That's nice good on. still. So this matchup is pretty much the same as it usually is with uh, Charlie. Make up for your mistakes with the long, uh, the very, the like the par fives where you'll be taken advantage of because you're a character that can't shoot the long ball. You make up for it by playing really good short game in the par threes. So we're at a par five. He's up a whole point. So this is a really bad position for me, and I'll have to make it up as we go along. I don't think I'll beat Bowser the first time I attempt it. Uh, I was having a lot of trouble with Mario, and Mario was supposed to be much easier than that. So I'm, I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe that you know uh, it's gonna be a lot more difficult of a, of a let's play than I was kind of anticipating. But that's fine. Uh, it's it's always good to challenge yourself and push yourself forward, you know. And even if it's just Mario Golf and a little stress relief here from work or whatever, uh, I'm fine with that. So, oh come on, what just happened there. Nice shot. There's his shot. Alright, a little bit of a cactus going on here, but I don't think I'm going to hit it. I think I'll be right off it, barely. And I'm going to... It's actually a good shot. I'm going to just push myself right a little bit. That way I can give the ball a little spin. Uh, that should have been closer. 
I uh, kind of goof there too. He's fairly close, so he's uh, he's just gonna kind of push it close to the pin and give me a little bit of pressure here. That should be it. For some reason or another, see, an issue I have a lot of. Now I'm down to. Uh, an issue I have a lot of with putting is that I, I personally account for even the smallest amount of slope, and with the smallest amount of slope accounted for, sometimes if you, I overshoot my putts and you overshoot your putts a little bit what happens is the ball will ignore slight slope so I'll anticipate slight slope I'll overshoot my putts and I'll kind of be counteractive uh, counterproductive to what I'm trying to do which is make make the shot and I'll end up uh, basically fucking myself that, that's what just happened there so there's a little bit of slope and if I had to put it at the perfect amount where it would barely roll in and lurch its way in like the computers do then it would have ended up doing what it needed to do there but instead because I overshoot it ignored the slope I needed that's a decent shot should have been better than that though but it ignored the slope I needed to make the shot uh, go in so I anticipated the slope and then shot where in, a, in such a manner where I wasn't trying to anticipate it does that make sense I'm hoping this hole's uh, most likely mine now He's uh, screwed up. If he makes it right now, he'll be fine. That's unlikely, though. And he might still be further away than me. I'm not sure. He might be like 10 feet, though. Yeah, 15 feet. So I just got to make this putt. And that should be it. There we go. And that's my hole. So we're making a little bit of a comeback. It's looking good. One down still, but we're really early into this match, so I'm not too, too worried about it. Hoping the wind here doesn't pull me too far to the right, so I don't end up bouncing into the... No, I didn't. I'm, I'm completely fine, and my position is uh, great. Here goes Bowser. After Bowser, if you know this game any, and you're watching... The next goal would be Metal Mario, and uh, I've been looking at other people who do these videos, and they're much, much better than I am. And they would usually do something like Metal Mario with Plum, which is uh, the worst character in the game, to prove that they're, I guess, to show off how good they are, you know. It's a great shot. Uh, a little closer is what I wanted. I'm trying to get within 15 feet of every shot. I'm a character that really... Uh, it sells it getting close to the pin because of the short range ball. So if I'm not getting right on top of the pin like he just did, uh, that's my own fault. And I'm just not doing well. I'm going to say... See, there's a slight slope here and I'm unsure if I should account for it. So I'm not going to. That time I didn't account for it and it hurt me even though I overshot. So I'm, I'm going to lose this hole because of nice stupid shot. shit, basically. It's yeah. really fucking dumb. That's actually really aggravating. Yeah, so what I was trying to say was, uh. Nice, birdie. And birdie, yep. These are really cool taunts. Oh, now I'm down two again. Par five's coming up as well, so it's gonna be problematic. Oh, now you get to see the fire. He shoots a stream of lava or fire. I'm unsure. It's probably a stream of fire since he shoots fireballs in some of his games. I don't know if Bowser's associated with lava strongly. I was saying earlier that I should be getting within 10 or 15 feet of every every shot because there's no excuse for it. I, I have a character that excels at it. This is actually a hole that kind of hurts me though. And there's a bunker right there if you see it. Kind of creeping on me. So I need to... I'm going to have to pull... And then we'll see what happens. I thought about cutting under the ball, but I didn't. So I'm 28 yards away, which is uh, incredibly bad, but it's mostly due to my character. Is this shot? Oh yeah, uh, I have a lot of people that do like plum on. Uh, I was hoping he wouldn't bounce right. 
God damn it. Let's really start putting in some work now. A good approach. Yeah. There's people who do like plum challenges where they'll just do plum versus metal Mario, which is the worst character in the game. That really shows off their skill because it's like, well, you can't mess up anything. Everything has to be perfect or better. Some of the shots I was seeing by like this guy, I think his name was Get Metal Yoshi or something. He was making shots that were ridiculous. I don't know if he was using toss or tool assisted, whatever. But he was he was making some crazy stuff. And then like in the comments he was saying like, Oh, I'm really not that good and there's like people who have better records than me with speed running and stuff and I can't keep up with them and I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, geez, you can't keep up with those people who do speed running? You're you're making like these crazy ass shots. I, I would think you'd be fine, right? I'm the least affected by wind, but I'm kind of hoping by pulling under the ball and letting the wind take me, I'll be able to make this shot count. And no, I don't. This is a really hard hole. Uh, I don't know how Bowser actually made it even remotely close to the pin, to tell you the truth. I still overshoot, so that's really bad. He needs this to win with full. And he makes it. Uh, I'm getting ripped a new one right now. I kind of played Shot Guy Desert as a as a winged idea. I didn't practice on the stage at all. I was practicing on Toadstool High Highlands still, which is a Mario, and it's just the easiest course to go to. But I, I decided that that stage is a uh, very disadvantage for me. A little tight. Sorry about that. First, a uh, a character that has the long, long shot, the long ball, and I'm getting wrecked anyway, so I'm going to try to bring it back, but this might be one of those those things where I just get blown out of the water. That looks really good. I don't know why it overshot still. I had 10 miles an hour against me. I didn't cut under the ball. No. That might be because I was playing. I've been playing kids so much. I might be screwing up everything I do usually. I'm starting to realize I'm kind of tired too. Actually, how close it is. I don't see the pin anywhere nearby. Yeah. Oh golly! Look at this hill, man. What am I supposed to do with that? I can't even put that in. I'm gonna try. This is my best shot. That didn't even go anywhere. Part of the problem with putting outside of the green is that the fairway will take away from what you're doing. So you'll end up... She, he almost made that. So you'll end up having to over, overshoot. Is the deal. And by overshooting, you compensate for the fairway, which is uh, giving you more traction on the ball, I guess. Or less or more, however you want to put it. Where it's it's holding the ball back more, so you have to overshoot for the fairway, but then you have to have just the right amount of power when you come out of the fairway to over the, go over the green in the uh, accurate amount of well, power to get to the hole. It's a par five. Whew. That was a really good shot. Yep, here goes my first power. Uh, I was gonna go to the gym, but I uh, ended up doing this instead. Decided I didn't really have the energy for the gym right now. Got the energy for golf, though. Uh, see, on this shot right here, you can either go left or right. Uh, I don't you really me remember where I end up going usually. I think I usually would go to the center, because the center looks a lot more... Oh, shit. That could be bad. Oh, a lot more... Uh, of a leverage for your next shot. You're higher up, you have a flat surface, you're not directly in, in the way of your next shot going into the bunker or the rough. Looks like he's actually uh, going the opposite way if he's not going straight to the hole right now. I'm unsure. I didn't even think. Yeah, he's bunker. My chance to tie with him. This is actually a really tough shot here. I'm on top of uh, what seems to be a dip over here, and it dips over to the right hand side of the green. I have to hit it basically in this area right here and get it to 
pop up a little bit and end up near the hole. So I might waste the power here and hope for the best. Crossing my fingers. And that's a great shot. That's a really good shot. Well worth wasting the power. And uh, if Bowser screws up a little further, I could possibly take this hole, which would be great. He, uh, he does not screw up. He just gets within 15 feet. He could possibly, but this putt's incredibly easy. Uh, I really don't think he would screw up. That'd be really dumb. So he gets a birdie, and I'm going to respond with a birdie as well. Um, since I'm kind of back... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to hit that hard. Since I'm kind of back into the groove of things right now, and it seems the last two holes have been doing pretty well, it's probably just going to tie me out for six more holes and beat me. And it's going to look really bad. But we're here to learn mostly. And I mean, I said I probably wasn't going to beat him the first time I did this. So it's no harm, no foul. Just kind of trying out the game plan a little bit. I did say I was going to do one of the hidden tournaments um, in one of my videos soon. I was hoping to do that for this one, but uh, I'm really tired and just didn't want to insert myself too. <sighs> too much. I don't want to exert myself too much because the, the hidden tournaments kind of make me, they get me going and make me want to be a little more competitive. I imagine I'm still back in the day when they actually offer the shit. And, uh, I'll explain what it is exactly, I'm sure. You're like, oh, what does that mean? Oh. What do you mean hidden tournament back in the day? Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'll explain that in the video. You want to you wanna learn, you got to watch. So. I'm sure if you actually play golf too, ooh, that's a really good shot. I was I was kind of worried about the first stop being off, screwing everything up, but that was good. Butt doesn't look super easy. Look at him think. Oh, he's taking forever to think. The computers will stop and think, and it's funny because they blink and they stare. So it's like, it's obvious you're fucking thinking, motherfucker. <laughs> but I might take this hole. Um, anyway, mm, I don't know how I feel about that putt. Oh God, he still made it. Sometimes I don't understand how the putts go in because if I putted that way, it wouldn't go in. That should be good. Yep, lurched it in there. Another tie, and one more, and he'll be four more holes away from meeting me. Uh, what I was saying was, what was this? Thing? Something about the putting, I think, or something. I don't know. Anyway. The putting, yeah, the the, put, the putting. When I, sometimes when I do uh, certain spacing on my putting, I don't think that's what I was talking about. But I'll just continue on my way. I sometimes I'll do a certain amount, and it'll be the accurate amount, and I'll be going uphill slightly, and that uphill slightly will pretty much just fuck the shit out of me, and uh, I get really screwed over. It gets really aggravating. 17 miles against me. Come on, man. I'm already a low tier character. Give me a break. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna try to make this work. I really don't see it happening. Oh come on! I really needed that dot, motherfucker. Well, eh, that's really bad. He's right there, so you can see his ball. Oh well. He sacrifices the power. I try to get a nicer shot and cuts under the ball, letting the ball blow itself back towards him. What's nice about that sort of thing is you can kind of get like this little arc right there where he'll literally bounce and he'll just stop where he was. Stop exactly where where uh, the ball hit the ground on this. So I don't know where the fuck I'm going now. Let's see. It's actually not a bad putt. The only problem with this is that I have fairway in the way. Uh, I could potentially make this if fairway is not going to affect me that greatly. I have about two and a half feet of fairway and if I was to do full power there's a chance that I can make it so I'm gonna try and ooh, that was pretty good that was close that was a good estimation too bad his putt's easy as shit god damn it man these computers they land right where they need to be don't they get these putts all right well four more holes I lose the same thing practically. If I had tied with them, uh, it would have been the same result because it has still been four holes. Uh, no, technically it's worse what he just did because he took a, a hole from me. So it's still only one more to make it. So now it's three holes of tying until he, he beats me. 
Hopefully that ends up all right. Yeah, that's arcing pretty well. That should be fun. Yeah, that's a good shot. I think he's still closer than me somehow. No, no, he he got green edge, and I'm on green. He's within pretty good range to putt, but I don't know what he's thinking about. That slope doesn't look that... It, apparently, it is that intense. It's the kind of stuff that I see I was talking about earlier that I don't understand. It doesn't look that intense, and all of a sudden, the ball just is like, oh, I'm going to go ridiculously over it. Why is my putt so hard? Golly. I mean, I still made it. It's just like he did, but that was a really hard hole. So now I got one more to lose. Uh, if he wins one, I lose. If I tie twice, I lose. So I'm in a shithole, basically. I mean, I'm having fun. I'm a little frustrated with myself losing this badly. I haven't lost this badly uh, in a long time. I mean, I've been losing to Mario occasionally on his vi in the videos, but... I was looking at my old statistics. When I was a kid, I beat Bowser one official time out of 11 times. And while I was looking at it, I was like, man, I was good, but maybe I wasn't as good as I was thinking I was back then, you know? Kind of think about it, you're like, hmm. That nostalgic value kind of it messes up your uh, judgment sometimes. Ooh, that's a good shot. Ooh, get in there, get in there, come on. What? I don't even understand that. I cut under the ball. There's eight miles an hour. That's a decent amount, amount, amount of wind mileage there. It didn't even carry me. Ah, oh, come on. Sometimes I just feel like I don't understand certain nice aspects of this game, the, certain elements of the game, and it's like, well, I, I thought I knew what I was doing, but did I? Did I really? <laughs> it's really frustrating sometimes. Twenty-one feet away. Well, that might be it, guys. I might have just lost. Uh, I was trying to do some fancy shot, and it, uh, for some reason or another, really screwed me. Well, that's it. Uh, Bowser whooped my ass. Uh, it's a good color. It's a good look for him. I'm okay with this, guys. I mean, it's really bad looking. <laughs> But, I mean, I'm trying to improve. I'm, I'm improving as I'm talking to you, and I'm improving with every game I play. Hopefully one day I can be as good as those YouTubers I was looking at earlier who were they were destroying this game. They were, like, hitting these crazy shots. Uh, I don't know how they do it, I'm sure. Like, just like me. They figured out little niches and little tricks and little things to make them better, and, you know, eventually they got to the point where they needed to be. I wanted to be. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the Playola channel. It's kind of a short video today. I mean, that's what happens when you lose really bad, I guess. <laughs> but I uh, appreciate you listening to me ramble on about golf, and uh, I'll see you next time.